Hi, I'm Neil Simmons with Mauser Electronics, and I am here to show you the initial setup of the BeagleBone Black. It is a very simple uh, procedure. First, all you need to do is just plug in a USB port to the BeagleBone Black, and then plug it into your computer. Now, once you've done that, your computer should recognize this device as just a standard USB port uh, or standard USB device, and you will be able to go to the device like it was a thumb drive and when you get there you will find a file that is called start.htm. Once you click on start.htm you'll get a a web page that gives you the basic instructions for how to get started with your BeagleBone Black. Uh, they give you a quick step-by-step -step guide and there's these first few instructions that they give you are basically um, they're just kinda like ways to make sure that your BeagleBone Black is actually working properly because when you first plug it in you should get this little blue light next to the power and then these other lights over here will start blinking and what these instructions do basically is just tell you that the order that these lights should be in uh, just to make sure that your beagle bone black is working properly um, now once you've done that right after that you will see there is a list of installers for the different operating systems that the beagle bone black is compatible with the beagle bone black is compatible with uh, both 64-bit 32-bit Windows, uh, Linux, and Mac OS. So, once you found the proper driver, go ahead and install it. Uh, your browser may, you know, ask you if you want to run it. Go ahead and say yes. So, once your drivers are installed, if you go back to your web browser and refresh that page you were just looking at, you should see something interesting happen. On the left-hand side, there's a little navigation, and those buttons, the first two, should turn green because now. Uh, your BeagleBone is plugged in and the drivers are installed and this page knows that. So if you s once you scroll past the, uh, the drivers option you will see uh, a little link here that says click here to launch HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.7.2 that is actually a web server that is built into the BeagleBone. Uh, so when you launch that page you're actually going to be being served a page from the BeagleBone like it was a website. Uh, that was out on the internet. And if you scroll down this page a little bit, you'll see there are instructions to update to the latest software. Uh, there, there's some pictures and examples of things that you can do with your Beagle Bone Black. And there's also some example codes, um, things of that nature. But one of the more interesting things that, that's on this page is a link to Cloud9 IDE. Cloud9 IDE is a place where you can go to write code uh, in JavaScript and send it directly to your BeagleBone Black. And it, w once you open it up, you'll see they have a few examples here. Uh, there, these are all JavaScript. And there's uh, an example to blink an LED, which is the standard hello world for uh, a development board such as this. Um, but another really interesting thing, if you go back to the, to the page that the BeagleBone Black serves to you, you'll see uh, there is another feature called gate one SSH client. Now if this is the first time you've hooked your BeagleBone Black up, you'll want to go ahead and hit the set date command. And once you do that, then you'll go ahead and hit gate one SSH client link. And that will open up a screen that will bring you to, if you're an experienced Linux user, what looks like a standard SSH login screen and that is in fact exactly what it is. So what you're able to do with this is to go ahead and uh, SSH into your into your BeagleBone Black just like you were SSHing into any other Linux device which is exactly what you're doing. Now your browser may pop up and give you a security warning saying that it's that it's uh, not trusted. Don't worry, it, it, it's your BeagleBone Black so you should know what it's, it's not going to harm you. So go ahead and hit proceed anyway. And then once it gets loaded, it's gonna it's gonna give you a list of options, or it's gonna you know it's gonna say host IP or SSH URL localhost. For these first three things, uh, or first two things, just go ahead and hit enter. They're already set for you. And then go ahead and type in root as your username. And by default, there is no password on the BeagleBone Black, so just go ahead and leave that blank and hit enter. And now what you come to is uh, just you have root access to the BeagleBone Black just like you would if you had root access to any other Linux device. And from this point, you can do pretty much anything you could do with any other Linux device. Um, one of the other really great features about the BeagleBone Black is from the command line, you can control 
your IOs your on, on your pins so you can uh, tell turn a pin on or turn a pin off set it to high low um, or you could get a reading off of a analog pin or anything of that nature so once you do that now, now that you know that you can do that I'll go ahead and close out of there uh, and there's a lot of other things you can do from that command line um, you can fix your Python scripts or you can pretty much anything you can imagine so now that we've done that and we've kind of gone over some of the just the very basics of, of getting this set up I'm gonna go ahead and remove the device from the Windows machine uh, just eject it like you however you do in your OS so once your device is able to be safely removed you can go ahead and unplug it and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug this BeagleBone Black into a USB hub that has a mouse and a keyboard on it. This uh, USB hub is powered. That's very important. Your BeagleBone Black does not provide a lot of power, so you're going to need to have a powered USB hub if you're going to run USB devices off of it. You're going to plug in a micro HDMI port. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in a power device. This is just providing 5 volts uh, at 1 amp. And this is going to boot the BeagleBone Black just like it was a, a Linux computer. So if you watch the monitor, you'll see uh, screens coming up. You'll see a splash screen for BeagleBone um, and you'll get a, a pretty standard Linux login screen. And it will log you into a version of the Angstrom Linux distribution. And as you'll see, this has a pretty standard GNOME interface if you're used to that. And if you're not, it's really simple to use. Um, it comes with several installed applications already. It comes with a text editor, a GNU image manipulation program, otherwise known as GIMP. This is for making images. You have uh, the Firefox web browser and the Chromium browser. Abbey Word, which is an office program similar to Word. And just a couple of other disk utilities, recent systems, system utilities and things of that nature and for all intents and purposes this is a pretty standard Linux operating system and it's just as powerful as most other Linux operating systems uh, if you hook Ethernet up to this device you'll be able to get onto the internet and download a lot of compatible applications and there's probably something out there that does just about everything so now that you've seen some of the things that the BeagleBone Black can do just out of the box without any uh, hardly any manipulation by me at all. I hope you have a lot of really good ideas about projects you would like to do and um, I hope you enjoy it.